Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another schwa unboxing and try on. This is the second one that I do. So schwa is a sample subscription service. You pay $20 and then you get to pick five of any products that they offer on their website to sample. So they basically send you the sample version of the products that you chose. Alright, so this is what the box looks like. You take off the sleeve and then these are all the makeup samples. Um, I also got sent this little like cardboard little envelope thingy with some applicators inside there's a q-tip uh actually two q-tips and a like um eyeshadow sponge applicator i will link down below the previous schwa unboxing that i did so you guys can check that out i did get some different products of course all right so the first sample that i'm going to try out is the gucci precise brow pencil and i have it in the shade o2 brunette um hopefully this is my shade Ooh, that's a, can you even tell? But that's a really, really nice shade and it's hella pigmented. Like I only went like this, boop, and I got some color. So let's put this on my eyebrows. All right, so that was extremely easy to do. I am very, very happy with how this applies and stuff. Yeah, and I really like the color. It's a really nice match for my hair. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side of my eyebrow. with the Gucci brow pencil I really like it it's not as creamy as um as um Chanel's I tried Chanel's in the previous schwa unboxing and I did not like it because it was just so creamy that it would just smear everywhere so I feel like this isn't gonna smear like the Chanel one but um it's still not as dry as other pencils I prefer a drier formula, but this is a pretty good brow pen, so it went on really easily, very pigmented, you don't need a lot of it, so I like this so far. Um, I'm going to go on to eyeshadow before I go on to my face. Um, I'm just going to prime slash conceal my eyelids using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, just because I do have some veins today and my eyes are like being weird, so and I'm just going to take a beauty blender and... Um, blend that out, make sure it goes all over my eyelid. Doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to take a powder from Rimmel just to set the concealer in place. So the eyeshadow that I picked out is the Bobbi Brown Sparkle Eyeshadow in Allspice. I thought it was going to be a different color. I didn't think it was going to be this brown, but we shall see what this really looks like. That is so brown, but it's really, really pretty, so. Before I apply the eyeshadow, I'm going to apply um, this color right here from the Smashbox um, Full Exposure Palette, just to get like a nice transition on my eyelid. Taking a flat shader brush by Kerasy, this is the E32. I'm just gonna grab some of the color and apply it to my lid. All right, so with this brush, it's not really picking up the color. It's just picking up the glitter in the color. So I'm just gonna use my finger. Or maybe I'll use one of these applicator thingies. I'm just going to use this sponge applicator and grab some of the product. Oh, so I like kind of destroyed it. It's a really beautiful eyeshadow. I love how much glitter is inside. But I'm just gonna use my finger because um, nothing is really much like really working, so I'll just put my finger in it. There we go. I'm 
much, much better. I'm gonna go back into the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm just going to blend out the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow because since it does have so much glitter, I just don't want to blend out too much of that glitter onto the crease. I'd rather just mute it out a little bit with a matte brown eyeshadow. Alright, so that like really took away all the glitter. Like, what the hell? That's never happened to me before. What the hell? gonna get. It's really 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 pretty. It's just hard to apply and it doesn't want to blend. So basically, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this eyeshadow. I'm going to clean up the mess of fallout that I have on my face and apply some eyeliner and I will be right back to move on to my face. So the foundation that I decided to sample is the Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation and I got it in the shade Cream. Um, I really like how they made this a sample. It's a little pumpy thing, which I think is really, really cool. And I believe this is gonna be a good match for me. Oh my god. Um, that is the color right there. It's really thick formula. Um, I'm gonna do half my face with a brush and the other half with the beauty blender to see which way I like better. Alright, so I'm gonna start on this side. I have no, um, what's it called? I have no primer on, so it's just this foundation. It smells, it smells like lavender. And it's giving me a really good coverage. Not bad. And this blends so easily. It doesn't even leave any streaks or anything. I'm really impressed with how this foundation looks. And it's like a little bit tacky, but it feels dry, which is weird. All right, so the other portion of my face, I'm gonna do with the Beauty Blender. And I really like how this smells. It smells like lavender. I'm not sure what the claims are on this foundation, but it feels really, really nice. It's a little taggy, so I might have to set it with powder. Um, but it's really buildable. I like it. When I first applied it, it was like a sheerish medium coverage, like a almost medium coverage. But since I applied two layers of it, I have a good almost full coverage which i am a very big fan of so the next sample that i'm going to try out is a concealer and this is the elise elise foss <laughs> elise foss concealer and i have it in the shade light fair so it's a little like pot thing and wow um i get it's concealer but it's it's like i basically have nothing so hmm I don't know. Hopefully this is like full coverage or something so I don't need to use a lot of it. I'm just going to get my finger and get some of the concealer and apply it under my eye. I like the color and it definitely makes me look awake. Um, it's very dry and like, sticky. So, I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm going to use my beauty blender for this side. I also put some on the middle of my forehead and my chin just to balance this highlighting effect that we have under my eyes. I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender. I swear, I cannot put my beauty blender down. It's not the same. I love this so much more than the like a brush. So far, my favorite thing that I have sampled has been the foundation. This foundation feels so flipping good. I'm going to go ahead and put some bronzer and blush and then, oh, and lipstick, and then I'll be right back to show you my final sample or my last sample.
So the last sample that I received is the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in Pink Glow. Um, I love the marbling in here. I hope you can see it. Um, it's a really pretty like pinky highlight. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to apply this to the, my cheekbones. Get some pink glow going on. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my god. That is so... I'm really like... I'm honestly like just shocked of how pretty this is. I know this is like really popular in the Bobbi Brown line, but I didn't think it was going to be... Look at that. Okay, I need to save up money for this now. Okay, cool. Some on my nose right here. Dude, look at that. I, oh my god. Dude, oh my god, look at that. Okay, calm down, I said, calm down. All right, so those were all the samples that I ordered. Um, I am extremely happy with two things, the foundation and the highlight. The highlight is so flippin' beautiful. Like, do you, do you see that? I am glowing. I love this highlight. I'm definitely gonna save up some money and buy it. Um, also, the foundation is amazing for first impression it took it out of the park i love this foundation it looks beautiful it looks natural um it's just a really good foundation and it feels so good i'm just i'm kind of scared to see the price now because it is tom ford but dude if you are able to find this traceless foundation by tom ford and get a sample of it you better get a sample of it or if you end up getting schwa Get a sample of this foundation and this highlight because you will be dying. Dying. <laughs> the eyeshadow, I'm not a huge fan of. It's pretty difficult to blend out. And the way, I mean, it looks beautiful. It's a really pretty glittery eyeshadow. I just, I need to find a way to apply it better. And um, the concealer, I mean, the concealer did not blow my mind. So I'm not going to be purchasing that concealer. All right, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in schwa, I will leave their link down below as well as the first unboxing that I did for them. Um, I am extremely happy with how my face looks right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see my videos on your feed. And I will talk to you in my next one. I love you guys so very much. Bye!